Oh, he's, he's got the answers. Let's see. 12, 16. Yeah, he's doing 24 damage next turn. Well, well, I guess there's something there. Let's see, he's doing four. Man, I would have my working out as well. What a fail. Uh, he's doing ten. I'm still dead. I'm actually dead. He's still fatal. If I if I would have actually had my working out, I would have survived. Yep, that is it. Alright, I guess we're doing another arena run. Try a little... Try that again. That's a shame. Don't think I'm going to get 50 gold from this. I could have survived for one more turn. I think. Maybe. Come on, 50 gold. Flame him, sweet. Let's open this pack, and then uh, we're going to do my final arena run, and it's uh, going to be for your enjoyment. Let's hope this actually works. Uh, I haven't been doing too well with Priest. But, uh, I feel like it has to happen once. Defender of Argus for sure. Temple Enforcer for sure. This is a tough one, but I feel like Holy Nova is a safer bet. Uh, I feel like I can get Karja otherwise. Silver Moon's pretty sick to have. Uh, I'm not going to have a weapon. don't like the young Dragonhawk. I'm going to go with Inner Fire. Hopefully I can use it well. Scarlet Crusader is always a decent card. Worgen can't really pass him up. Silence is uh, definitely huge. But uh, hopefully we have other silences. There you go. I guess now I can go for the silence. Mana can be nice. But uh, I feel like silence is something I usually lack and it's just necessary. Second Holy Nova I think would be excessive. Unless I have spell damage guys. Storm and Champion never steers me wrong. Although I like the Panther. Gets me on the board. Storm is kind of expensive and he's very situational. Don't really have much board control as a priest. So I feel like the jungle is better here. Some would argue the Holy Nova, but uh, yeah. Master Spell is actually underrated. Uh, it silences everyone, and it's really good with the Watcher as well. I actually know it silences all enemy minions. Uh, you know, that could be the answer I've been looking for. I just feel like you can't avoid Questing Adventurer. That's a risk, but I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, Shadow Word Pain is always, always a good card to have as a priest. Wisp can be nice, I don't know. I just feel like it's easily dealt with against other classes. Acolyte of Pain is always a big one. Didn't really get him to use him effectively in the last run though. You know what, I think I'm going to stick with the Priest cards. Uh, Tiger for sure. I uh, don't want a second Worgen. This guy can help out a lot, so I'm going to go with the Grizzly here. Uh, okay, we're getting some guys. You know what, Shadow Madness is really sick and uh, definitely not getting Murlocs, so Hopefully it doesn't force me to do that. Uh, Divine Spirit is definitely a good card, but I feel like Silverhand Knight is more solid. It's, a, it's, it's definitely a huge value. I mean, Divine Spirit can go really nice with my Inner Fire. It's a tough choice. It's a tough choice. You know what? I think I'm going to go a little crazy here. Silverhand Knight is such a solid card, though. This is tough. This is tough. I 
Alright, uh, do I have a coin? Yes, I do have a coin. Alright, I got, uh, I got a nickel, so there's the beaver, which is perfect. We got the beaver is divine spirit, and, uh, heads is silverhand knight. Oh, it's the beaver. Beaver's never wrong. Uh, sounds can be huge. Thought steal. Uh, these are all good cards. These are all really good cards. Uh, I feel like Dark Scale Healer always helps me as a priest, though. Thought Steel can be so nice. Especially since I don't really have card draw right now. Don't have my cleric suit. I think I got some nice. I don't really. Ha no, I have zero fives. I got a Holy Nova and a Tiger. Uh, I'm getting a lot of spells. One, two, three. I got four spells right now. Okay, this should be my last spell. It just it could potentially win games. Ooh, I just got card draw. Do I want no much adventure or another card draw? I think mind vision is just a good thing to have. Uh, so we already got card draw. Storm Knight is pretty sweet. Uh, don't have enraging stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Storm of Night. Uh, second Temple Enforcer never hurt nobody. I really like Storm Pike, but I feel like he's expensive. Circuit of Healing can be nice, but I, I still don't have a Cleric for that to work with. Uh, so let's just go with the Temple Enforcer. Uh, I've always thought that in Master is the way to go as Priest. But, uh, yeah, you know what, I mean, I have Inner Fire, and I also have Divine Spirit. That can be huge, like, right away. I already have a Tiger, and I got two Sixes, so that can be really expensive. This is such a game-changing card, though. In Master plays better for my deck. Oh, you know what, actually, I can Inner Fire and... Divine Spirit, the Ravenhold Assassin. That sounds actually much better than doing it on the Imp. Uh, we got the Dark Scale Healer. I didn't choose him last time. I already got a Holy Nova. I don't want to... Maybe I can get some spell damage. We'll see. Uh, Mind Blast. Can we Dece? Elven Archer. Always hurts me. But it's not really a card I want to draw into. Don't have that many ones. I just kind of want to save the ones for the cleric. Uh, let's have a look at my fours. I do have a four that gives taunt already. So it's between the mind blast and the elven archer. Do I really want an elven archer? Uh, it's kind of luck based. Mind Blast, at least it's straight up 5 damage. I'm gonna go with the Mind Blast. Uh, I already have a Shadow Madness. Imp Master as a second choice. Holy Fire, I, th I really think we have enough spells, but Holy Fire is just another 5 damage. That's 10 damage guaranteed I can be doing. I feel like we don't really have too many answers right now. Uh, yeah, because I don't have my Shadow or Death, which is needed. So I'm going to go with the Holy Fire, even though Imp Master is a really good idea with my deck right now. Priestess of the Luna, I just feel like it's too expensive. Uh, Oasis Snapjaw, I really don't like. Although it can be really nice to taunt him. Uh, let's see, my fours. Hmm. It can be really nice, actually. Again, I, Circle of Healing is not really helping too much here. Don't have an injured blade master yet. Don't have clerics. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Oasis, even though I don't like him at all. Uh, we already got a Darsky Healer. Spellbreaker is a must. Uh, I feel like Swamp Ooze is actually really important to have. Uh, so many times I've lost to just weapons. Uh, so that's a great card. Uh, Light Warden can uh, really be a game changer, especially if I can inner fire. We're not. We haven't gotten a power word shield yet, which is bad. Uh, we do have a lot of spells, and this is kind of the card draw that the cleric would be doing. 
coin counts as a spell as well. I feel like I can get much more value with the gadgets end because Light Warden would be nice with a cleric, which I don't have. I mean, it can be nice early. I don't have too many one drops. I only have one one drop. Uh, I think I just need the card draw. We're going for the card draw. Hopefully, I get a cleric. I mean, usually clerics are meant to be had. I already have all of these. I mean, Jungle Panther and the Temple Enforcers. I have two of those. I feel like War Golem can be messy. Uh, getting expensive, though, but. I feel like that's just the right choice. Sunwalker is definitely my favorite. Ancient Mage can go really nice as well. Uh, it's, it's really expensive to combo him though. Empire Cobra is decent. I do have some nice threes already. I guess I don't have a lot of low costing... Oh wait. Yeah, I was thinking of getting low costing cards for my questing adventurer. Oh, the Sunwalker is just a beast of a card. And Emperor Cobra is just an answer that I need, because this is good, but it's expensive, and... Yeah, again, it doesn't play well with my questing adventure. I think I should stay a bit low on the curve here. Uh, I'm feeling mass to spell. I still need some card draw. I said I wouldn't get any more spells, but... That can be huge for me. Because the more spells I have, the more my gadget sound is going to be huge. Pine Sign Summer, I just feel like it's too weak. Like, it's it's so easily dealt with. I mean, I do have some... I have one early taunt. Uh, I got Defender of Argus as well. I just feel like Mass Dispel can be huge. And we are trying to stay low. Is that a questing adventure with Pine Size Summoner? These are some tough choices. Uh, I feel like my deck is not very priesty though. I mean, I do have Inner Fire. I don't have any Light Wells. I don't have any Clerics. I don't have any Power Word Shields. Uh, That's going to be tough. I feel like because of that, I need the card draw. And this is guaranteed to help me in a pinch. Although I do want to stay low. This is a tough call. This is a tough call. I mean, I got some big cards that Pine Side Summoner can help out with. I mean, if I can combo her properly with a taunt, then she's beast. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I think I'm gonna go with the Pine Size Summoner. I got too many spells. Why don't I just be stuck with spells? But that's a spell that draws a card. That's the only thing, like, it, it replaces itself. And I only got one silence. I actually got two silences. And I got answers. I got answers. Will Pine Size Summoner be the difference for me? I just feel like every time I play Pine Size Summoner, she dies. I do have some taunts, though. And I got some early early stuff I can do. Alright, I'm going for the Master Spell. I just feel like the draw card is, is what I'm lacking in my deck right now. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Is this an item dough deck? It doesn't have a legendary. So we're probably gonna say no, but let's be positive. Let's let's do some damage. Let's do the damage. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> screenshot. Alright, let's uh let's just take this off for now because that's not the deck we have.